In 1904, the horse was king. But today, an automobile leads the parade, and the only horses in sight belong to the mounted police. Riding in motor buses, the aging veterans of the volunteer days and other members of the Exempt Firemen's Association wave to the crowds. Their hand tub follows, perched atop a sand truck. Younger men still march and proudly pull their ancient machines. Some of these companies and their hand-powered engines may still be in service. Although the paid fire department was formed in 1868, a number of volunteer companies were retained to protect the outlying districts. Even today, a handful of volunteer companies, equipped with somewhat newer apparatus, still operate in isolated areas within the city of New York. Just as the volunteers and their hand tubs faded into memory, so soon will the fire horses, but not for the same reason. The first generation gasoline powered apparatus was hard pressed to match the performance of horse and steam. But the motorized rigs were certainly cheap to operate. The difference in cost between hay and veterinarians compared to gasoline and mechanics was so great that the entire cost of a new gasoline pumper could be recovered in just a few years. While many firemen truly loved their horses and wept when they were retired, there were no tears in the eyes of the politicians. As the new motorized apparatus was delivered, the older horse-drawn engines and trucks were sold or scrapped. The newer steamers and aerials were adapted to be drawn by Christie tractors and remained in service. The chiefs still have a driver, but their buggy is now powered by gasoline. Although apparently not delivered in time to make the parade, FDNY has finally ordered an ambulance to transport injured firemen. 
The rig was a 1914 locomobile that had been designed by the FDNY legendary volunteer surgeon, Dr. Harry Archer. The legions of firemen now march by, battalion by battalion. Led by their officer and a rank of men with line-throwing guns, the squad marches down the avenue carrying their ropes, life nets, and scaling ladders. Although all of the firefighters are heroes in their own right, it is once again the men of the scaling ladder squad that bring cheers from the crowd. The old volunteers and the retired fire horses will all too soon be gone. But like the scaling ladder squad and the mascot dogs, will be fondly remembered.